Hey everyone, Dan from Odd One here. I'm excited to share with you another Odd One Exposed, looking at some of the technologies that we're working on for the future. Today I want to talk about how to tame those high contrast situations that oftentimes occur when you're photographing architecture or landscapes outside. Here's a great example. I'm photographing at the ocean. I've got these big, pretty clouds, but I also have this very interesting rock in the foreground. Now there's no way in a single exposure that I can capture all of the shadow detail here in the rock and also get all of the information in the sky. So I took a bracket. I took multiple exposures at different settings to make sure that I get all the detail from the subtlest detail in the clouds to the deepest, darkest shadows. Now in the past, to combine all of those together, I had to use another application, a different HDR application, or I could try to blend them together in layers, but I really need the very subtle details from all of these individual exposures. So we've been working on a way to merge these together into an HDR right inside of On One Photo Raw. Here's how it'll work. I'm just going to select that series of photos, and we'll go to HDR. There we go. You notice how fast that was. That took about five seconds to bring up a preview of my HDR results. You try that in most other HDR applications and it takes a minute to get to this point. Now at the bottom, you'll see all of the frames that were in our HDR bracket and it'll tell you which frame we're using as our middle value and it shows us the relative exposure value for each frame. I can click the check mark to turn frames off if they're not contributing to my bracket. I can turn it off. And I can also select which photo is my keyframe, the one that's used for deghosting, the one that we use to pick the best looking clouds from in this example. You can control the amount of deghosting here at the deghosting pop up, and you can also do an overlay to show what the ghosted areas look like. Now, the real meat of things is over here on the right. We've made it easy to get good looking results by using the tone and color pane in the HDR look panel right here inside of the create HDR dialog. I'm just gonna grab the exposure slider and watch when I pull this down. You see, as I pull it down, I'm actually looking at that full 32 bit HDR data. I've got all the subtle information in the clouds and I bring it up, you see I have all the information in the shadows and the rocks all within this one new HDR photo. I'm just going to adjust my exposure down a little bit to make sure I have all the subtle detail in the clouds. You notice the foreground gets a little dark doing this. Then I'll grab my shadow slider and I'll just turn that up to set the amount of shadows that I want. I can then fine tune my contrast by either using the contrast slider or a lot of times I like to use the black slider just to bring up the blacks a little bit. So there we go. Just by selecting that bracket, bringing it into the Create HDR dialog and making a couple quick adjustments, I was able to get all of those de deep dark shadow detail from my overexposed bracket while maintaining all of the subtle cloud detail from my underexposed bracket, all right here. Now we aim for a natural look, but if you want to turn it up to 11, you can go to the HDR look tab and you could turn up the compression slider and the detail slider to really create that over the top HDR look as well. When you're done, you hit the save button and it creates a new file that's like a raw file that lives inside of Photo Raw and all of the adjustments that I've made here in the tone and color pane and the HDR look pane are non-destructive. I can re-edit those after the fact. Plus, I can use these new HDR photos in development effects or layers just like I would with any other raw photo. I'm super excited about the high quality natural HDR results that we're getting in a fraction of the time of other HDR apps. We can't wait to get this in your guys' hands and get your feedback on it as well. Thanks for watching.